this one here I got a call from my lady. Um, her air conditioner is not working on the first floor. She say that um, she had to shut it off because it was icing up. So we'll go by there and see what's going on with that. I asked her if the filters were clean, if she changed the filter, her husband changed the filters. She says, yeah, he does that on a regular basis. So it wasn't that. We'll go. When I get over there, we'll take a peek at it and see what's going on with it. Sometimes these things can get interesting. You know, there's, always a, there's always an answer to every situation. There's always a reason why something's happening. You just have to figure it out. We'll get it. So that's why it iced out. That's why it was icing up. I'm oh, getting no airflow. Weird, huh? Would that affect the upstairs one too? No, because no, the one upstairs is separate. It's different. Right, right. Crazy. So when I came here, she complained about it ice, and this pan was full of water. I blew it out. Got this drain working. What happened was that bottom is all full of water. This whole container and the bottom is full of water. So what's happening is the compressor's running, icing up right away, getting the airflow. I don't want to pull, pull, pull a hole in, in, the, in, the, in here and drain that water out and get rid of it in the buckets. Filter looks clean. Makes me want to take a leak. A lot of water in there, I'll tell you that, it's a big ass. A big ass return box. Came down here, checked the filter, the fan was running, I went out, checked the unit outside, and it was, uh, my suction pressure dropped down to like 40, and I started icing right away in the suction line. If I try adding a little gas, it's still icing up, so I just uh, put something wrong with the fan. I checked the fan, I checked the capacitor, that all that's running good, it was just getting no flow because it's full of water. Weird. So when I came here, the door was off because the homeowner took it apart. He says it was all iced, and I did notice that pan was blocked. So I did the first thing I did was blow that line out to get it to work. But I didn't realize that it filled that bottom unit up. Weird. I already dumped out the five-gallon bucket once. I got twenty. 20 gallons in there anyway. 
a lot of water. Yeah, and the compressor started up and it started, the suction line started to ice up right away, like there was no fan, no airflow. As it comes down and then up in the bottom. Holes up here. I'm gonna punch the clip off. The other ones in there. I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm getting close to the end here. There's a little bit of water on the floor. Not much I could do about it. Not a lot. Catching most of it. And uh, we'll fire it up in a bit and check the charge. But that's what the problem was. The thing was full of water. We're getting no airflow across the um. The evaporator. Weird. Yeah, when I first started it up, it started to ice up right away. And I knew I had pressure. I started it ran to like 40 pounds. But once it started icing right away, I knew there was a problem. was icing up and when I first went there I went down check the air handler to check the uh, filter I didn't record this part but the door was off so I asked the lady what was the deal with the door she said oh my husband you know took the door off to check the filter and it was all iced up so I pulled the filter out the filter looked clean I buttoned the door back up there was water in the, in, in, the, in the pan backed up, so I blew it out with my little hose, and then it started pumping in the condensate pump, you know. And then I went outside to check to check the unit. I didn't see all that water in the bottom of that, um, in the bottom of that return box, because it wasn't leaking out on the floor. I didn't notice that until later on. And I went outside to check the charge. I put my gauges on it. Uh, the thing started, the compressor started up, it, it ramped down, pulled down to like 40 PSI in the suction line, and um, it started icing up right away at the compressor, so I knew it was a problem with airflow or the fan, so I went inside, I checked the fan, the capacitor, that was all working, and that's when I noticed that water was filled full um, on that bottom part, so 
I didn't get that footage on checking the unit, showing it icing up and all that. I start basically, you know, when I see all that water, you know, in, in the bottom return pan. But I, I did go through all the sequences I just talked about. Check the fan, you know, or check the coil. Or, you know, and the, the filter was one of those washable um, ream filters, which I got no problem with those. Those are actually good filters. So... That was the deal there. I wish I would have got some more footage, but lady was kind of hanging out the window there watching me do my stuff, so I couldn't really film. So that's the deal there. All right, guys, I really appreciate you guys watching in the comments and stuff. Uh, more videos to come.